Hey guys, Basil Wolpert with Grayson Hobby, and today we have a quick tip for those who are running Crossfire. We're going to show you how to get your average cell voltage from your quad onto your radio with a couple of beta flight commands. Like always, if this video you find it useful and helpful, hit that subscribe button and be sure to support Grayson Hobby if it's pack of props, batteries, quad, everything. Uh, everything ships from right here, right? Mm hmm. Uh, located right outside Atlanta, Georgia. It's usually about two days to the entire east coast of the country. A lot of guys have been asking on Crossfire how to get average cell voltage instead of total cell voltage. If you're mixing around, you fly a lot between four cell, five cell, six cell, etc. Um, maybe even some three cell back in the day. It kind of takes a little bit in your brain to co compute whether or not your battery's charged or not. Um, 16 divided by three. Don't know. Yeah, that's why you need this. Um, it does happen, especially while you're flying. You know, we can't multitask sometimes. You know, it happens. Kind of burn in our brains. You know, balanced storage is 3.8 to 3.85. Fully charged is 4.2 or high voltage 4.35 per cell, and dead is around 3.3. Um, so, to make the numbers easier, no matter what size pack you have, you can set up average cell pack, uh, average voltage per cell or per pack. Um, for your batteries and something the crossfire kind of doesn't do which well it doesn't do easy i guess you could set it up other ways but on the radio to make it interface and you know something on the radio display with your telemetry widgets basically something you take advantage of using one of the fancy features your radio has to offer you guys what we're talking about this is a telemetry uh widget set up on the screen here i'm gonna turn on the quad real quick telemetry show you guys recovered. you got telemetry you got just a quick little percentage thing but receiver battery, we're reading 15 volts. It does need to be calibrated a little bit here. You can see 15.09, but this is what we want to do. We don't want to see this number. We want to see these numbers, okay? Or the average, right? The, this is the average per cell. So yeah. we want to get a rough average of what the cell voltages are to do quick math in our heads, um, either do not, not, not in our heads. Well, so we don't have to do it in our heads. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So you just know the number. Uh, basically, you can see here, all right? So I am swapping a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm going to connect. The quad. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the quad off though, because that's bright. Uh, tr -tr -tr. Plug it in. Connect it real quick. Terrible. And Basil constantly puts the camera in my face. All right. So now we're gonna go to CLI. Type set. Report. Hit enter. Right here, we're looking for report cell voltage. So this is just a quick way to get without having to type all the underscores and all that. Control C, I'm going to copy it, or you can right click and copy. Um, now we're going to go back and we're going to type the word set, space, and then paste it in there. And then we need to change off to on. Now we got that there. And then we're going to type the word save and enter. And it'll reboot the uh, beta flight. We'll reboot there. We don't really need to do anything else here, so we're done there. Now we're going to turn the quad back on and see what we've got. Yeah. Powering up the quad. Recovered. Looking at the screen here. And now we're seeing 3.8 volts. Fancy. So it gives us a rough average right off the bat of each cell. So, so now we, kind so of takes having to do math in your head while you're flying. Um, you can set this to audible alerts. You can set it to, if you just want to turn it on, plug it in, give it a quick, hey, instead of using a cell checker, it's kind of like making the quad your cell checker now um, at the same time. Or your radio, right? Well, yeah, the quads to cell checker, your radio is the display. Okay. There you go. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Um, but basically, it gives you a little bit, um, just a nifty little feature you can set up. I mean, you have several telemetry pages you can do on these radios. Why not use them, right? So if you had to set an alarm, what personally would you set the alarm for so you know it's time to land before you ruin your battery? Because I try not to fly my batteries under 3.3. Everybody has different op opinions on that one. Um, some guys fly as low as 3. I don't like that. Um, but right. my batteries last a pretty long time. Um I like the batteries settling closer to storage if possible. That way I can, at the end of the day, I don't have to worry about charging my batteries back up. So I do fly my batteries a little shorter some, than other people. Uh, it's all personal opinion on that one. But if you over discharge battery in the air, that quad's not gliding down. It's going to fall. Or your battery so, life. Will, and it'll kill your battery. You can puff yeah. your batteries, et cetera. So, so between 3.5, 3.3. So guys, if you forget one of these at the field, you forget one of these, or you just simply don't want to do the math in your head to figure out what your average cell voltage is while you're flying. You know, whether you use a three cell, four cell, five cell, six cell, etc. You mix and match batteries depending on how you fly. Um, you know, there's guys that run four cell on quads and six cell at the same time, depending on what you got laying around. Um, it's just a nice little feature you can do. So it takes having to do some of the math in your head out of the equation. Quick, um, 16 divided by three. Don't know. Yeah. That's why you need this. Yeah.
Right.